Hello everyone and welcome to the RV Inspection and Care channel. I'm Dwayne and I'm a certified level 2 RV inspector. And today we're going to be talking about a very special subject. How to avoid buying an RV money pit. You know when it comes to buying an RV there's just so many questions that need to be answered. So many decisions that need to be made. It's not hard to understand why a lot of folks just get overwhelmed by the whole RV buying process. A lot of things need to be determined, like for instance, what type or class of RV is best for you and the way you camp and the way you travel. Would it be a class A, B, C, maybe a fifth wheel or travel trailer is best for you? Those are major decisions. Also, should you buy new or should you buy used? That's a big one for a lot of people. They really uh, struggle with that at times. What about after you buy the RV? What is your budget going to allow for maintenance of that RV as you own it? You have to determine that because different kinds of RVs require different levels of maintenance and different costs. So what is your budget going to allow? Also, how do you know whether you're going to get a good deal? When we buy a car, it's fairly simple these days. There's any number of websites you can go on that will tell you what a car is worth. And then you arm yourself with that knowledge and you go into the discussion on a car knowing what it's worth. But with RVs, it's not so simple. There's not that great amount of knowledge out there that's uh, easy to access. So how do you know whether the seller is offering the RV at a good and fair price? When you find the one that you like, you know, it just reaches out for you. How do you know whether it's a good one? Boy, that's a big question. You know, I've seen many RVs that looked great on the outside or to the casual observance. But once you started to look closer, there were all sorts of problems and issues that the RV owner was going to have to deal with sooner or later. So how do you know that the RV you're looking at is a good one? When do you bring in an RV inspector? I get asked that question all the time. And also, how do you avoid calling in inspectors over and over again until you finally find the one that's really good? Good question. You know, the, the reason why we ask these questions is that none of us want to buy that nightmare RV, that RV money pit. That's the last thing that we want. We all want to be able to buy an RV that's of real value and that we can have confidence in. So my friends, I'm very happy to announce release of an ebook, a new ebook that I've created, and its purpose is to accomplish all of what we just talked about. And the title of the ebook, believe it or not, it's the same as this video, How to Avoid Buying an RV Money Pit. And it will answer all the questions we've talked about thus far, as well as many more, too. And it's going to teach you how to have a step-by-step -step approach to finding RVs for consideration, calling out the ones that really are not going to be good for you, then narrowing that search down to the right RV that's good for you personally. It's going to teach you also how to perform your own RV inspection so on each RV. And that way you know what you're looking for. You'll be able to determine when an RV is going to be very expensive to repair or not. That's great. There's several videos that uh, will be in the teaching material. There's pictures that will show you what I mean as you go through the text there. And all of that will be helpful. But there's also a special edition here, and that is a worksheet checklist. 
This checklist is going to take you step by step through the personal inspection of an RV. So all you have to do is uh, print out the checklist before you go see an RV and uh, then follow it step by step. They'll tell you what to look for and then there's areas there for you to write in your notes on what you find. It's very similar to what we professional RV uh, inspectors use. We use a process that takes us step by step through the entire RV so we don't miss anything, you know, as we go, and then records our impressions as we go. That way we don't forget anything because later on, you know, after you've looked at tons of RVs, uh, you eventually can't remember what feature happened with what RV. So the checklist will help you keep it all organized. Also, in addition to all this, there's another special opportunity. And that is, I will make myself available to you because you have the ebook and the checklist. Any questions you have about performing that inspection, that personal inspection, just ask and I will be happy to answer that. We can do that through email, but I will be more than happy to help you as you go through the uh, personal inspection and that way you'll know what you're looking for. Well, there is a charge for the ebook. I feel like that's real value that's coming here, so there is a charge for it. But if for any reason you buy the ebook and the worksheet and uh, you get my assistance and you don't feel that it's really of the right kind of value for you for any reason whatsoever, well, there's a 30 day money back guarantee. So feel free to use that. I'm not going to ask you any questions about it. I don't want anybody to feel that uh, there's a risk involved in getting this information. For those watching this video, I'm happy to announce too that there is a 10% discount for the next week after the launch of the ebook and checklist. Uh, you, all you have to do is go to the checkout area, enter the coupon code DISCOUNT10. That's uh, all in capital letters. Uh, you'll see it here below. DISCOUNT10. And then you'll get 10% off the ebook, the checklist, and my help and support, and all of that. My friends, this is an opportunity for you to learn from a certified RV inspector about how buying an RV really should work and about how to perform RV inspections on a personal level. And that way you'll know better how to keep your own rig in good shape. You know, this is not just good advice for people buying RVs, but the information in the ebook is good for owners so that they can make their own inspection of their RV as they go and make sure that there aren't major issues starting to arise. There will be further enhancements of the ebook too. That's a good news to know. Uh, this is not a static project. I'm going to continue to add to it as time goes on. And once you buy the ebook and, and the uh, guide and checklist uh, uh, now, you're going to get all of those enhancements absolutely free at no charge. My friends, I have looked around quite a bit. I have uh, done a lot of research before I did this project, and I've tried to come up with something that's unique, something that there's not really a lot around like it, and I feel that I've done that at this point. So what I encourage you is, please take advantage of this. Take advantage of the information. Take advantage of my help and support. And together, we will make sure that you never buy an RV that is an RV money pit. Well, that's it for now. Have safe and happy travels, my friends. Until next time.